Morning everyone. Yes, I am in my pyjamas still, but there is, oh, you're going to focus. Oh, don't think it likes the light. There is a reason for me still being in my pyjamas, for which I shall tell you now. I'll come into the dining room where it's a bit lighter. Um, hang on. I need to turn the radio down. So, the reason is, a couple of weeks ago, something that just never happens, the sort of thing that would never happen to me, oh my eyelashes stuck, um, never happens to me, happened. So, on um, it was on Instagram, and there's a clothing brand that I follow on there, and they posted a photograph of the most gorgeous loungewear jumper, which of course at the moment is perfect, considering that most of us just in the house or working from home. So I love this jumper and I commented on it and just said how nice it was and how perfect it is for this time, well yeah for right now. And this clothing brand replied and said they wanted to send me a little gift to spread cheer and joy. So they asked me to send them a message which I did. And they replied and said they wanted to send me that actual jumper that I had just said I liked um, as a gift. So I gave them my address and I was thinking these sorts of things just don't happen to me. They really don't. So I wasn't get, trying not to get my hopes up. And a week passed. Nothing had arrived. So I sent them a message just to let them know, mainly so that they didn't think I was being rude by not thanking them if it had arrived and then they replied and said I should have received it um, then they sent me another message later on that day to say that there'd been some sort of issue with processing the order at their end or something and then this, so this was two days ago they sent that message and then yesterday something arrived in the post and I shall show you so this I have actually opened it, but I shall show you. Hang on a second. So this is what arrived in the post yesterday for me. And I shall show you the jumper. So this is the jumper that I saw on there. Oopsie daisy, I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> I can't do this with one hand. So this is the jumper I saw. I will put it on in a minute to show you because I think I'm going to wear this today. So you can see it's loungewear, it's a hoodie and this is in an extra small and it feels, it's so so soft, it's absolutely gorgeous and I think it's probably because, let me find, tell you what it's made from. So it is Recycled polyester alpaca wool. That's probably why I'm thinking it might be because of the alpaca that it's soft. I don't know. So I'm going to go and get dressed because it's quarter past ten and put this jumper on and I will let you see what it looks like and I'll tell you how nice it feels as well. And I am dressed quarter to eleven. And I've only got, just got dressed, but I don't feel guilty. So I have got the new jumper on, so I'll show you. Um, you'll have to apologise the scruffy trousers, because I have got my house trousers on again. Um, so this is the loungewear hoodie that I have got from Hush. You can see this, like, the ribbed bit, I forgot to show you down the back there. But it's just, it's so soft. And the hood... Oh. Oh, it's so cosy. Um, you can actually get, it does come with um, some bottoms, I think, as well. And I love how the sleeves are so long, so I can pull them over my hands to keep my hands nice and warm as well if it gets cold in the house. Um, so, yeah, like I say, it does come with some bottoms as well. It's such a soft fabric. 
Um, like I say, that's probably the wool and the alpaca in it. And I forgot to tell you which one it is, if anybody was wanting to know. So, it is the Karina Soft Knitted Hoodie. That's the one if you wanted it. And it is in Oatmeal Melange? 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 Who knows? But yes, that is what it is. Um, so, I now have a day of more Christmas things. I need to write Christmas cards, finish wrapping up presents to post the parcels. And, oh, I've not shown you our Christmas tree, have I? I will have to show you that. I need to go and put the lights on first, though, but I will show you our Christmas tree. I should probably take this hood down, shouldn't I, really? It feels quite um, cosy. Right, I have come into the lounge to start writing Christmas cards and I thought I would just show you the tree because I haven't done it yet. So I know you've just seen me put the lights on but this is our tree. How gorgeous. It's such a nice shaped tree. All these decorations, all these the sparkly ones, you can see, these are all actually from, we got them um, a few years ago in, um, well that one shows the sparkle off well. We got them a few years ago from Ikea and then this, the ribbon is actually just like, I think it's, what's it called, a parcel ribbon um, that I just got from a card shop and I use them on there. Oh, and then we've also got, turn you back round again, we've also got our garland on the mantelpiece. I love this garland. This was actually just from a garden centre. Everything was on it. The um, fir cones and the berries. The lights weren't on so I actually bought, we had a spare set of small lights so I just wound those on myself and did that. Um, we also have, we put some little, we put these up here because, oh that's got that way. So we've got Noel and Joy. I put those on there because they're quite um, heavy so I think they'll probably be too heavy for the tree. So yes, that is our Christmas tree and garland in here. We do have another tree upstairs, um, which I might show you if I get a chance. Um, but yes, there you have it. We're now on Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. And I'm not actually going to do any filming apart from this today because all the clips I've already done are long enough. And you don't want me rambling on too much, so I won't. But... I wanted to actually just really quickly do this to fill you in with um, a little update on the whole hair situation. So for those of you who watched my um, video two videos ago where I was talking about my hair and how much of it is coming out and everything, I finally decided, um, because after the last time I washed it, so much came out it was just ridiculous and it just made me cry. So. I decided to take the plunge and I have actually found a private dermatologist um, who is based in Leeds who is very very highly recommended and regarded in the dermatology world so I phoned his medical secretary this morning she was so lovely and helpful um, and I've made an appointment with him so I have my dermatology appointment on Tuesday and it means at last and at least a medical person is actually going to look at my scalp and my hair and will be able to tell me whether there is something going on and hopefully tell me what it is as well. So it's expensive but it's going to be worth it because I just need to know now because otherwise I could just be waiting months and months so it will be worth it. So I thought I'd just let you know about that. Um, I will tell you what he says after I've had my appointment, I'll fill you in on that. And um, yeah, but right now, right now, this is how the table looks. I'm currently Christmas card writing, and I've just realised I didn't actually show you our Christmas tree upstairs, did I? And by the way, as well, this is what I do up the banister. So these actually have lights on. I use the just the little battery powered lights. So and I put the bows. I bought those, I think, from a garden centre. So they go up here. And then I have this garland here as well. Um, looks a bit enough with the wires, but when it's on, whoopsie daisy, and that's actually got tangled. That should be around there. 
So that looks quite nice when it's on. I'll show you what this one is like. It just look nice and festive when I can switch it on. Do I look? That's the banister down there, so that looks nice and festive. And the Christmas tree, I shall show you. Hang on, I need to go and switch it on. There you go. There is the Christmas tree. This is the one upstairs, this is the middle floor window. And this is the only tree where I allow tinsel because I don't like it on the main tree. So the family have to uh, do as they're told. So yes, I am, oh, now I've shown you that. I've filled you in like I wanted to with the whole hair situation. So I'm going to go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Hopefully it won't have been too long, but who knows with me. And until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And ciao for now. Bye. Mwah.